Fortunately, I think this is another matchup that's really good into Betsy. Um, mm. Because all Kano wants to do is just set up and then kill you with things you can't handle. And Betsy does come prepared into this one, what having the Arcane fuck? Lantern and Null Rune on the gloves and boots. So Arcane Barrier 3 and a Titan's Fist uh, as a weapon. Uh, much like game bop. number one, the big bop coming in here. Uh, at the that breaks for a plus five at the at their next turn. The one the one thing you got to think going into this game three is game two was won by OK. So they definitely have the like momentum going into this third game, which matters sometimes, right? You can be on tilt from losing a game, especially against a cot suit like that. <laughs> and you, you can sure also, can. yeah, and then you can also just be like in, y y you got to think yourself the hottest stuff in the world when you're uh when you do a combo like that and so like mental plays a lot into this third game um it's it is such that like the yeah. opposite of what he what they just did though it's yeah. just like betsy like takes a turn like a full turn off to set up and do like one thing on the turn afterwards katsu just yeah. just vomited their entire deck onto the board in one instance and that's not gonna happen here. And Betsy's gotta say like discipline, right? Like is she Ooh. she's still gonna have to be able to make some moves and try to you just talked about blessing blessing of Aether. Uh and there it is. I think I think Betsy needs to be throwing the biggest haymakers you've ever seen in your entire life, copying Katsu and just trying to end the game in three turns. Because mm -hmm. Kano definitely sets up better. He's already he put that blessing of Aether or on the field. Starting our next turn, the first arcane damage gets plus three. That could be yeah, insane. Thump, thump coming in, thump. getting the big bop. Uh, I dominate. This is, yep, yeah, dominated, getting the spinal tap treatment, turning to 11. Oh, we go to 12 total. Dominate, overpower. Wow. We are wagering. Everything is happening. You were talking haymakers. Here comes exactly yep. that. That's almost his entire health. 12 damage. 12 damage, dominate. Kane only starts at 15. He's got a. And she still has oh two gosh. cards in hand, which means there could be some pummel back up. I haven't seen the list to know if there are any pummels, uh, but there's oh. definitely at least some arcane barrier back up just in case. Kano Didn't a block a spicy. god dang thing. Holy frick. Kano said, sure. Watch this. Start of his turn, aura pops. Next attack gets plus three. Mage, Ooh, Master, Mage Boots. Master Boots. It's going to have go again. This is so interesting. What card does he have to follow this up with? The Crucible Kraken. Pump. Oh, boy. Or, or cru Crucible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voltaic Bolt. Five. Five, six, seven, I eight. <laughs> I can't do this math. Nine. Betsy pitched three. Oh, so the Blazing Aether. Six. Blazing Aether? That's just going to deal another six damage. Holy frick. This turn was in. This turn was also eight, insane. Six. Right. Like, this could have been 18 14. damage, but, you know, pitching a few pitching cards, right. Betsy only took 11 took 11 that felt like greg Shoot. tried to just expel it all out whoa uh, with that one oh, didn't no. quite get there a oh, bet no. big oh no <laughs> oh this, no if this is another blue in hand they can betsy give this thing overpower is that not a blue in hand oh it's not uh, a blue in hand they can block it out kano gets to block out the bet big and does just that, but it goes down to one card, and they play an energy potion. Not the worst thing. Betsy does have five card hand now. Starts money off with your mouth money is. where your mouth is. Yellow plus two. And wage, a gold. wage gold seven coming in for nine. Wagers. Overpower. overpower ten. Overpower. Gotta, Kano has to kill him right here, and he already has a whole nother card in his hand. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's six damage. Oh, he's blocking. He knows. He's he knows. He's he's mathing it out. He can only block four. He's gonna have to activate Kano. He's gonna have to pull a rabbit right out of his tuchus. So he's got spell uh spellfire cloak and he has an e pot. So that's a free Kano activation right there. That's basically a free card in hand. Um mm -hmm. and it looks like he'll be using that. What does he get? What does he get? Uh, a Aether Flare Blue. Uh, that's not that's... awful. 
that could be the start of something great. It's interesting. He's just full top decking right now, right? So yeah, uh, right. He he's he's going he's going yeah. to the casino. Uh, crucible being mm-hmm. activated, pitching a blue, floating to. I mean, Betsy could just have a red in hand. This last card could be a red, and then it's like all you need to do is ten damage. Flare coming in for two. And yep, it's yep. a yellow. They block for two. No okay. damage coming through. Okay. No opening. A snap back. Snap oh, snap back. Snap back. Snap back hat coming in for three. It's and over. oh, and there's nothing yeah. else he can do. No. And oh OK my gosh. takes it with some haymakers wow. from Betsy. So OK moves frick? to the final four of the Clash Bash going 2 1 over Darth Prentice. In a, in a pretty epic, those are some epic games. Dude, maybe maybe I give a Kano a little more credit because of all the CC games I see of him, but I was like, no way he loses, right? Like, he just sets up, plays slow, and uh, and whittles him down until he can blow him up, but they didn't give him any chance at all. Betsy, right, there's no time, right? Overpower is essentially dominate against Kano, right? Because he's almost sure. exclusively actions in hand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, or instance that you couldn't block with anyways. Uh, Katsu absolutely <laughs> blew him up on the third turn of the game. Uh, it's it's really sad for Kano, but uh, actually really exciting for OK. I'm very impressed by this Betsy list after this. And they are, in fact, moving on to the final four of the Clash Bash. Uh, let's see. I believe I have... Going no A B with Katsu ended up working out too. Wow, that was just Yeah, just you know, the 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 Katsu mantra is usually if you're pitching, you're losing when it comes to arcane barrier. Uh it's it doesn't usually work out too well for us. Did it's you know it's it's, it's interesting because I feel down? like you run A B if you're going second, because mm-hmm. they could throw damage at you that you can prevent with a hand you're gonna fill back up anyways. Um at least I think I've probably would have ran uh the tide flippers but maybe you keep the but you just have ab1 um i don't know that was that was actually really exciting i love these best of three matches yeah i think that's gonna do it for us uh yeah. this evening on the call uh i'm pat Shaw. you can find me at off the rails tcg and pat smash good on social media will where can we find you uh, you can find us over at the Table Pit. We play UPF gameplay shows. And Pat, it's a pleasure to work with you as always. 